Kita mau pergi gitu ya ke malam. Oh, ok, sí. Ni te perfecho en español. Ok, sigamos practicando en inglés. Ajá, ok, ok. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ok, yeah, that's cool, oh, that's cool. Chico. I am so sorry, I am so sorry. No y vamos por la tercera that's... canción en inglés. Cantando yeah, en but... estaba. The connection is... The connection is... Water, one, two, three, teacher. Teacher, in your absence, yes. we practice English. That's cool. <laughs> I, will check, I will check the video. Hey, Don't worry. <laughs> no, no se preocupe que yo reviso el video. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, just let me set up something. Mira something here. Solo voy a revisar una pequeña cosita. Okay, let's well, 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 let's continue. And the worst thing is that it's almost finished and raining. I can see the footage of it. Terrible. Okay, let's see who were missing. ¿Quién me faltaba? I'm sorry, but I lost the the. Oh no, let's see. I Maria and me. Maria and me. Okay, let's see. Amber and Edward did it. Maria and Janira. Yeah, Maria Alejandra and Janira. Please, let's continue. Yes. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm a supervisor superv supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for, for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room in the in next to the training room. Got it. How about longers or recreation recreational places? Is there a longer? Yes. Lunch. Lunch. Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, perfect. Now let's see Elvia and Walter. Okay, here's the lady. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Hey, good morning, Mr. Jan. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Jenner. Let's get a start. Is there a conference room in, in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Uh, yes, absolutely. The conference room, I need to try in room. So it's all about lawn or recreation place. Is there a lawn? Yes, it is long on the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Building wing. Okay. Building. 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 Enough. Okay, hold on. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's see, Sylvia, you're going to help me with Wilfredo. Wilfredo has been left alone. Me han abandonado Wilfredo. So, Sylvia, you're going to help him. Oh, let, let's do it, teacher. Oh. Yes, please. Okay, will you start, please? Sylvia? Okay. Yes. Can you hear me well? Yeah, Hello? Yeah, okay. Um, good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jan Jenner. I am the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And so, are there enough people listening? 
Yes, absolutely. The, conf the conference room, the conference room in next to the training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is from the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Well, guys, thank you very much. Please try to remember the pronunciation. Enough, enough, okay? Building. Now let's see, launch, launch. Recreational, recreational, okay? Well, guys, let me see, let me see. Perfect. Well, I need to share with you a small presentation that I prepare. Well, it's not that small, but I'm going to share with you a PowerPoint presentation. Don't worry that at the end of the class, I will send it to you guys. Okay. So let's check it out. Let me see, let me see. Where is it? Okie dokie. Okay, let's see. Now, in English, as in Spanish, we have countable nouns. What are countable nouns? They are persons, animals, or things that we can count. They can be singular or plural, okay? And we also have the opposite that are uncountable nouns. What are uncountable nouns? Oh, they are substances, concepts, etc. that we cannot, listen, that we cannot divide into separate elements. We usually treat uncountable nouns as singular. It's interesting, no? We usually treat them as singular. Now, look at this example, an owl, a table, an apple, some apples, a cat, a boy, some girls. Now, with uncountable nouns, look, there's water here, some water, some bread, then what is some? Un poco de, okay? With countable nouns, we can use the indefinite article, a or an, we can use the indefinite article with countable nouns in singular. We can use some for the affirmative and any for negative and interrogative with countable nouns in plural. Now, pay attention to this. Some is using the affirmative for countable and uncountable. Look, with uncountables, we can use some in the affirmative and any in negative and interrogative. With uncountables, remember, uncountable. We use there is with countable nouns in singular and uncountable nouns. We use there are with countable nouns in plural. So there is can be used with countable and uncountable. There are is used just with countable nouns in plural. <laughs> okay, look at this animal. It is an owl. There is an owl on the table. The negative form. There isn't any owl on the table. There isn't any, ninguno. Or ningún. Oh, there's a cat. 
There is a cat under the table. There isn't any cat under the table. Now, water. There is some water on the floor. There isn't any water on the floor. Books. There are some books on the table. There aren't any books on the table. So if you notice, for the interrogative form, we use is there instead of there is. And we use, if it's uh, countable, a cat. If it's uncountable, any. Okay. Is there a cat? Is there any water? Okay. Now look with their R. They switch again. I'm sorry. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. These are the short answers. Now look, we have are there any books? Look, are there any books? Yes, there are. And the negative? No, there aren't. Is there any water on the floor? The affirmative will be, yes, there is. The negative, no, there isn't. Next one, the question, is there a cat on the table? The affirmative, yes, there is. And the negative, no, there isn't. Books, listen again. Are there any books on the table? The affirmative, yes, there are. Oh, because listen, and the question is plural. And the negative, no, there aren't. Okay, let's see, a small exercise here. Now, let's see, let's see, I got participants. Ambar, tell me, which is the correct option here? There are some, no. I, there are some students here. Let's see. Perfect. Excellent, no. Ambar. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Next one is for, uh, let's see, Fernando, this is yours. Tell me, which is the correct option? Correct option, let me see. Uh, there, there aren't any students here. Let's check it out. Oh, perfect. There aren't any students here. Excellent. Yeah. Now let's see. Next one is Maria Alejandra. Maybe um, there is an O here. There is an O here. Let's check it out. Perfect. Janita. Is there any cat here? Let's see. Perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Roxana. Are there any water here? Are there? Oh, no, 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 there are any. Ah, uh, there are? No. Mm. There is water any is water. uncountable. Acuérdense que water is uncountable. Si es uncountable, 
se expresa como que fuera singular. Porque usted no puede contar el agua. La medimos, no, no la contamos. ¿Okay? Entonces se entiende como que fuera un singular. There is. And in this case, there no isn't. Tiene any, es negativo. Okay. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Wilfredo. Tell me. Pick one, escoja una. There are, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. there are in, any student here. No. Oops. Another one. Second chance. Look here. It's a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a question. Sorry, sorry. Are there any students here? Perfect, mister. Okay, guys. Don't worry, this presentation, I will send it to you so you can check it out on your time. And if you got questions tomorrow, I will give answers, but I will let you like watch it slowly. Voy a dejar que la vean tranquilo, se la voy a mandar para que la analicen y así si tenemos dudas, mañana la aclaramos, la puedo proyectar de nuevo, ¿ok? At the end of the class, I will send it to you. My apologies that I didn't send it before. Perdona que no se las mandé antes, but I had a meal to win a reunión. Let me share something else. Mostly we are interested right now in how to make questions using there is and there are, okay? That's actually the, the, the part of the objective of the class. Let me show you with the manual. Where's the manual? Right here. Okay, how to use there is and there are in questions. Look at the words in bold and complete the statement in the box. Is there a meeting room in your company? Is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Are there enough representatives? Are there many restrooms in your work? So to ask singular questions we use, is there. To ask plural questions we use, are there, right? Now, look at this exercise. We have to write the questions that correspond to the answers that follow. You have to use the vocabulary that is here in parentheses, okay? So we have, yes, there is one, it is next to the manager's office and it says conference room. So is there a conference room in your company? Remember, we are in page number 22, okay? And what are we going to do is the exercise. How are we gonna do it? Simple, working in pairs. You will have just two minutes. You will have just two minutes to do this exercise, okay? Dos minutos para hacer este ejercicio. It's going to be very, very simple. So let me... Uh, okay. Hold on. Groups are created, please. Just two minutes for doing this exercise. It's pretty fast. Let's go. Let's go do it.
okay, we're staying here because of the connection problems. Me quedo acá por la conexión, problemas de conexión para no perderlo. Let's see, it's trying to bring everybody back.
Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, let's see, number two, sentence number two. We have the answer. No, there are not any. We have no training rooms. Okay? So, what is the question? Let's see. Janira, this is yours. Tell me, what's the question, Janira? Okay. Are there some training rooms in your company? Are there? Are there some training rooms in your company? Okay. Yeah, it is possible. You can say, are, are there, just remember, it's a question. And in a question, we don't use some. What do we use, Yanira? Um, Any. Okay. For questions, you don't use some. You use ah, yes, any. because the answer is, is negative. Yes. Recuerden okay. que el any se utiliza para negativa y pregunta. Okay. Are there any, oops, my bad. Any training room in your company? Okay. Or we can say, are there training rooms in your company? If we want it in plural, we can do it like that. Okay. There are two options. You can say, are there any training room in your company? Or you can say, are there, we get rid of this, la otra opción es esta. Are there training rooms in your company? Both options are correct. Ambas opciones están correctas. Okay. Now let's see. Next one. Who's gonna get next one? Let's check it out. Veamos. ¿Quién va a tomar la siguiente? Mm -hmm. Ambar. You represent the group. Usted me representa el grupo. Uh, sorry, teacher. I have a uh, problems in my house and I don't particip participate with my partners. Okay, no problem. No problem. Let's sorry. see. Oh, no, don't worry. Francisco, Eduardo, tell me. Okay, teacher. Uh, number three. Uh huh. Um, Look. Maybe is there on site clinic here? Is there or and is there and because it's singular an on site an on site clinic here? Yeah, it's okay. It's perfect. Is there an on site clinic here? Nope. There is no one. Perfect. Now let's okay, see. Thank you very much. Now let's see another group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marta and Avelinda. Are there some restaurant, restaurant in your company? Okay, the same explanation I gave to Yanina. Lo mismo que le expliqué a Yanina. Cuando es una pregunta, Nosotros usamos any. Any. Okay. Okay. Because in this Pero case, este caso, the we can is, just say, is affirmative. Are there? Yes. But, lo que pasa es esto, que cuando es una pregunta, el any se convierte en algún. Y cuando es negativo, se convierte en ningún. Ok. Tiene dos significados. Okay. En pregunta es algún o alguno. Y en, y en negativo es ninguno. Pero en este caso, you can just say, are there, uh, are there restrooms? Inside the building. 
or you can say, are there uh, many, muchos, restaurants inside the building? Yes, there are five restaurants inside the building. Okay, guys, this is kind of a little bit heavy. I know, I know. Now, let's see. Do you remember that you've been talking to me about the places that you like? and the places that you enjoy and your favorite places, okay? Now, we are going to work a little bit different, okay? Why? Because you are going to create questions and answer those questions. How so? Very simple. Working in pairs, you're going to be asking and answering each other. I'll give you an example. Let's see who's gonna be my volunteer. Thank you, Roxana, you're the volunteer. Thank you for volunteering. Gracias por ser la voluntaria. Okay, okay Roxana. Uh, Tell me, Roxana, uh, uh, are there many restrooms, many bedrooms in your house? Uh, yes, there, there are uh, five, uh, restaurants bedrooms. or bedrooms? Bedrooms. There are uh, five bedrooms in my house. Okay, and tell me, are there many restrooms in your house? Are there many? Restrooms. When I say restroom, means bathroom. Restroom is another oh, okay. way to say bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yes, there is two, there are, there are two, there are two uh, restaurants in my house. Okay, there what are. about, what about uh, living rooms? Are there many living rooms in your house? Uh, there are two living rooms in my house. Perfect, thank you. So you see guys, that's what you're going to do. Ask each other. Now you ask me, Roxana. Ahora usted me pregunta a mí. Are there, um, are, sí, are, are there any uh, backyards in your house? Yes, there's, there's a backyard in my house. Well, actually, there's a patio. There is a patio. A patio. patio. Okay. Uh, Next question. Is, is there um, is there any um, ay, is there any kitchen? Mi hijo está corriendo por ahí. Perdón. Don't worry. Don't worry. Is there any kitchen in your house? Oh yeah, there's a kitchen. I never visited, but it's there. You know, can I visit it? And are there um, are there many um, flowers? Flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some. There are some. Si hay algunas. Okay. I water them when it rains. Oh, Yo la riego cuando llueve. Es eh. es trampa, truck. No. Trick. Trick. The garden and the kitchen is not my place. El jardín y la cocina no son para mí. Well, I can prepare I can actually prepare a delicious uh, boiled water. Preparo un agua hervida tan deliciosa that you couldn't imagine. But besides that, no, man, I don't cook. Okay, guys, do you see what we are going to do? Entienden lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? Simple. Two, three questions, okay? You're going to have three minutes. Let's do it. Let me create the groups. So you're going to be working in pairs in this case, in pareja, so we can do it fast. I'm sorry. Okay, groups are created, please jump in.
Okay, let's see, let's see, we're trying to smart me the room. Doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is there any bathrooms in your apartment? And there are two bathrooms in my apartment. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I got a question for you, Maria Alejandra. You live in an apartment, right? Yes. Okay. There are two full bathrooms or one and a half bathrooms? And um, yes, I have a two full bathrooms in my apartment. Okay, that means that you got two showers. I do two see. showers. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Just that, remember, Fernando, cuando, eh, cuando el baño, lo que nosotros llamamos baño social, eso es un half bathroom. Oh. Es un medio, medio. Uh -huh. half. Yeah, because it doesn't have a, a shower. Como no tiene una ducha, it's a half bathroom, okay? Oh. Okay. Is, um, con la ducha is? Full. 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 Oh, okay. Okay, I remember. And, and from okay. there, you can go on. Y de ahí usted puede irse más arriba. You got a jacuzzi or a chill, <laughs> a china. Oh, oh level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hay un tipo de ducha que yo quiero. ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, I don't remember the name of that shower, but it's awesome. You get shower from all sides. Uh, como en cascada. Yeah, they are cool, but man, they are fancy. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll go check another group. Okay, bye. Ladies. Hi, Peter, the connection is very bad, so we can't hear it. Okay, tell me. We can Julia. hear well, uh, yes. Are there many bedrooms in your house? Yes, there are many, there are some bedrooms in my house. Okay, how many bedrooms are there? Uh, there are only three bedrooms. Oh, great. How many yes. bathrooms? Are there in your house? Um, there is only one bathroom. There is only one bathroom. Yes. Okay, and tell me, is there a back there in your house? Yes, there is a back yard in my house. Yes, perfect. a small back yard, but there is one. <laughs> Okay, perfect. You see, it's very simple. Let's go to the main room. I want to the main room. Okay. We are just trying to wait for everybody to come back here. Let's see, they are coming in 15 seconds. Segundo volume. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Maria Alejandra, who was your partner? My partner is Fernando. Okay, please ask your questions to Fernando. <laughs> Mm, Fernando, um, are there many restaurants in your house? Yes, there, there is a one restaurant in my house. Okay. Uh, is there a is there a parking in your house or garage? Okay. A garage. Uh -huh. uh, no. Uh, lamentablemente. What is uh, Regretfully. Regretfully. No, regretfully, there is not a garage in my house. I park it in the street. <laughs> On the street. On the street. On the street. On the street. Are there many people in your house? Yes, there are. For people, it's uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are there many people? Yes, there are. There are four people. No, there are four persons. Is there? Is there? there. Yes. Is there because it is because is there many people? Yeah, because when you say people, you are talking in general. Si la palabra que usted está utilizando envuelve un grupo de algo. Es incontable en inglés, es incontable y se utiliza el singular. Okay. Sí. Like the team. The team is playing. El equipo está jugando. Okay. The word team involves a lot of people. Cuando hablamos del equipo, the team is traveling to, to, uh, uh, to Europe. El equipo está viajando a Europa. Okay. How many people is a team? The players, the technician, the, a lot of people, right? But you say the team is, the people okay. is, okay? So in this case, you're going to hear both ways. In este caso, van a escuchar ambas. People use both. They use it singular, they use it plural, okay? So don't worry if you hear people say, oh, the people are, you will listen to that a lot. So don't worry about that, okay? But you can, if you are like in doubt, you can use person, okay? Uh -huh. And person, Is there many persons or? Are there? Are there persons? Uh -huh. Are there many persons? Many? Are there many persons? Or is there any person? Singular? Okay. And the answer yeah. is there is a lot of people. Oh, there yes, is. there is a lot of people. Uh, in my case, is four people, four, four people, four, four person. person, four persons. Perfect. And the answer is there is four person in my house. There, there, there are. are four persons. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, don't worry. I know it's kind of confusing at the beginning. Okay, thank you. Now let's see, Rita, who was your partner? My partner is uh, Wilfredo and Walter. Okay, pick one. Escoja uno de ellos. Pick Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Walter is a little bit sick. 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 Walter is a little bit Walter is a little bit sick. Walter is a little bit sick. Walter is a uh, is there any garage in your house? Yes, there is a garage. Wait, another question. Uh, are there many bathrooms in your house? Yes, there is a bathroom. Okay, in this way, in this case, I'm sorry. She asked you, ella le preguntó, are there many? Ella usó el many. Okay, 
que ella le está preguntando, hay muchos. Entonces, en este caso, the answer is no, coma, there isn't. Se dice, no, there isn't. There is just one. Porque ella le preguntó si había muchos. Usted le dice, no, solo hay uno. ¿Ok? No, there isn't. There is just one. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sí. And what did they put to my water? Que me le pusieron a mi agua. I see double. I see two Wilfredos right here. Yeah, there's two of you, Wilfredos. I'm sorry, teacher. There's two Wilfredos here on my stream. I got Wilfredo in mi pantalla, yo pensé que teacher, le había puesto a mi agua. Teacher, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I get connection with my cell phone because I, I, no I have many troubles. No okay. Ah, okay. No problem, it's just that it was confusing for a second. Por un segundo me confundí. It's Jesse, thank of, you. It's a for the practice with himself. Yeah. Janira, who was your partner? My partner was Fausto. Fausto, perfect. Where's Fausto? Oh, right next to you in my screen. Yes. Fausto, you ask Janira. Okay, teacher. Janira, are there many pets in your house? Yes, there are five pets in my house. Say what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, four dog and one beer. Oh. <laughs> I love the animals. Very good. I love the ones you can eat. A mí me encantan los que no se comen. No, no, no. I am an animal lover. <laughs> those are my favorite ones. I love cows, pigs. <laughs> no, come on. It's a pet. Okay, Fausto, continue. Okay, uh, Janira. Is there a garden in your house? Are, are there. No, is there a garden? Yes, there are. Are two, Badger and there, Thunder. Uh, okay, but the question was okay. The question was okay. Is there a garden in your house? Because he doesn't know. Él lo puede preguntar en singular. Hay un jardín en tu casa? And you make declaration. Yes, there are two. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Cuando es, cuando la pregunta es, nos preguntan si hay uno y su respuesta es más de uno, es afirmativa y aclaramos que es más. Cuando nos preguntan si hay varios y la respuesta es negativa, que es menos, y la respuesta es que hay menos de lo que nos preguntaron, entonces es negativo. Ok, decimos, no, there aren't, there's just one. Imagínese que Fausto le hubiese preguntado, hey, Janira, are there many gardens in your house? Usted dice, oh, no, there aren't. There is just one. Solo hay uno. You see the difference, Janira? Yes, I can okay. see. Thank you, teacher. Fausto, do you have any teacher. other question? No question, teacher. Thank you. Yep. Perfect. Okay, let's see, let's see. Francisco Eduardo, who was your partner, my friend? Hello, teacher. Uh, my partner was Elvia. Elvia, where's Elvia? Oh, that right there. Please, ask her. Pregúntame. Okay, teacher. Uh, is there a restroom inside your company? Elvia, your microphone. No, there isn't. Okay, next question, Francisco. Okay, uh, are there any postal office in your city? Yes, there are many postal offices. Offices. 
Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please, before anything else, just let me. Oh man. Hold on, just give me a second. Antes de despedirnos, please let me get the attendance one last time, please. Just a second, just a second, just a second. And I got it here. Amber Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Fernandero Cibrián. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanel Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. And Carla Maria Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernandez Uchoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. And Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. And Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Oops, oops. And Carlos Antonio Murillo here. Sandra Beatriz Hernandez Martinez. Hey guys, I'm sorry for the time. It's late. Thank you very much. I see you tomorrow, okay? Teacher. Remember, you need, you need to write. Yes, Janina? I'm sorry, I have two questions about the last homework. If I participate in the class, I need to send you the homework? Still, you need to send me the homework. Okay. Everybody and... needs to send me the homework. <laughs> okay. It's just, because, it's just because I want to also Check out your spelling. Quiero ver cómo está el, la, la escritura. ¿cómo esto? No. Spelling. No, no, no. Ortografía, sí. Ortografía, oh. ortografía. La ortografía, okay. Okay. And I have another question. Um, yes. The, I made the the tarea in the website. Yeah. The homework. The homework in the website, uh, number six, but the number three maybe is, is uh, a book in the website because always give me an, an, an error. An error. Okay, let's do something. Veamos algo. Si no puede hoy al final de la clase, eh... Mándeme mañana la imagen para poderlo revisar, porque yo puedo accesar a la plataforma y para poder ver que si es un error de la plataforma, tengo que hacer un reporte. Please. Ok, ok. Sure. I, I, I have... Send you. Yes, Fernando. I have the, the same problem. Uh, number, okay. three, number three and five of this. Necesito, necesito que me digan, que me especifiquen qué sección y qué ejercicio. Okay, please, así yo I, lleno el reporte. I send you, teacher. Okay, porque me dicen que... Okay, let's see, quiero ver si la tengo acá, la online. La online. Let me check it out. You tell me section. There is three distribution centers in... Yellowpango. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, 
homework six, right? Yes, right. right. Okay, hold on. Just give me a second. Si me tienen paciencia, yo lo puedo ver en este mismo instante. Of course. Okay. There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. Did you place the, 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 the point at the end? Le pone el punto final? Yes. If you can see, another line is uh, below my answer, but it's the mistake in this website. Okay, I will report it. I will report it uh, 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 tomorrow early. Lo voy a reportar mañana temprano. Thank you okay. very much. I appreciate thank you, it, teacher. Right? No, thanks to you. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. See Bye. you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Sí, Wilfredo, you were supposed to stay in my class. Let's see, I'm gonna make the report. Make the report, let's see.
So let's see. Today we were working with countable and uncountable nouns. Regretfully, our classmate who was assigned to be here in the class with us, well, he couldn't stay. I wonder why, because we told him, we asked him to stay, but that's not a problem because we can still talk about, uh, about something. Let's see. We can explain a little bit about countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Okay, countable nouns are for things we can count using numbers. They have a singular and a plural form. The singular form can use the determiner A or N. If you want to ask about the quantity of a countable noun, you ask how many combined with the plural countable noun. So we say one dog, two dogs, one horse, two horses, one man, two men. One idea, two ideas. So we say, she has three dogs. I own a house. I will like two books. Now, uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are for the things that we cannot count with numbers. They may be the names for abstract ideas or funny or qualities or for physical objects that are too small or too amorphous to be counted. It could be liquids, powders, gases, okay? Uncountable nouns are used with a singular verb. They usually do not have a plural form. So when we talk about countables, as I was explaining in the class, sometimes it's the word that encompasses a group, T, sugar, water, air, rice, knowledge, beauty, anger, fear, love, money, research, safety, evidence. We cannot use A or N with this noun, so we cannot say uh, a water. I want a water, okay? We cannot say, uh, I, I have a uh, safety. Now, to express a quantity of an uncountable noun, use a word expression like some, a lot, much, a bit, like we have a lot of evidence. We have a great, I have a great deal of love for my son, okay? Now, if we want to ask about the quantity of an uncountable noun, we use uh, how much. Like, there has been a lot of research into the, into the causes of the last disease. How much rice do you want? He did not have much sugar left, you see? Very simple, no? Okay. Now, something that is tricky is that some nouns are countable in other languages, but uncountable in English. But still, they have to follow the rules as they go in English, okay? They must follow the rules for uncountable nouns. The most common are like accommodation, advice, baggage, behavior, bread, furniture, information, luggage, news, progress, traffic, travel, travel, uh, weather, work. Like a uh, trouble, the equivalent in Spanish to be problema. And you can say, tengo un problema. But in English, you say, I have some trouble. You see, it's a little bit different. Well, guys, it was a short extra explanation about countables and uncountables. And see you tomorrow. Have a good night.